All right, everybody, Forrest Gump. I'm finally getting around to watching Forrest Gump. A lot of people left comments for it. I did a poll over on my page. This is the one that won. I don't know anything about this movie. I did see a couple memes and clips from it over the years. Just like short little things, but I don't have a clue what the storyline's about or anything like that. So I'm excited to get into it. And as always, the raw cut will be available on my Patreon page for people who sign up over there. You can watch a lot, but you gotta have your own copy and you sync the two up and you watch them side by side with the timestamp. I got a nice timestamp so you can watch it along if you want the full two hour and 20 minute long reaction. But this is rated one of the best movies of all time. So I'm curious to see why. So the feather. Some dirty shoes. Nice, he's keeping it. Curious George book, I like it. Who didn't like Curious George, right? Come on. Let's see, we need to get picked up by somebody or something? Oh, we're taking the bus. 1981 models. Is that what year it is it's taking place in, 1981? My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. That's it. That's the famous quote right you never there. never know what you're going to get. Yeah, that's one of the few things I'll know about this movie. Those must be comfortable shoes. <laughs> I wish I had shoes like that. My mom always said it. there's an awful lot you could tell about a person by their shoes. Talks about his mom a lot. He had dirty ass shoes, right? I've worn lots of shoes. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. Wow, she said, he's they remembering back. Magic okay. Shoes. All right, Forrest. Magic shoes. Oh, he's yeah. got braces on his legs. Let's take a little walk around. Oh. How do you oh, feel? What's going on with his legs? His legs are strong, Mr. Gump. Yes. His back is crooked as a politician. His back is crooked. Now, what are we for it? <laughs> Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Ford. The Ku Klux Klan. Oh, They'd whoa, all dress up in whoa. their robes. What? And you named him after? That's who you chose to name your son after? Boy, braces on his legs before. Wow, she's picking up for him though. God intended everybody to be the same. He'd have given us all braces on our legs. Oh, that's one way to look at it. It's got a loving mom at least. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Different. Oh, jeez. What is this for a school or something? She wanted me to have the finest education. So. Oh, he can hear everything they're saying. Now, this is normal. Right here. Oh, okay. The state requires a minimum IQ of 80 to But my boy Forrest is going to get the same opportunities as everyone else. He's there not going to be something can be done. Okay. Oh, no. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? Is that where that's going? Is she going like He's on that? vacation. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the sacrifice she had to make? Mama sure does care about your schooling, son. Oh my God. Woo! You don't say much, do you? <laughs> He's mimicking the sounds he just heard for the last half hour. Woo! Doing what she got to do, right? It's not saying it's right that the principal took advantage of her like that, but you know, just saying. Woo! Friggin' oh Elvis? Was that Elvis? Hey man, show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Nothing but a I like that guitar. Are they trying to say that Elvis learned his moves from? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's where he got the moves from. I love it. Not for children's eyes. Oh nope, he's moving that pelvic girdle in a way he shouldn't be moving it. Close your virgin eyes, everybody. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school. Okay. Very well. This is a bus to school. She's smoking a cigarette? It's the 80s. Tiger. Tiger. It's not taken. Don't be so rude. Everybody's being rude. What are they going to make him stand up? You can sit here if you want. Oh, nice. Somebody's going to let him sit down. She was like an angel. There you go. Look how beautiful this is, right? Come on. What's wrong with your legs? A little bit of kindness. That's all you need. I just sat next to her on that bus and had a conversation all the way to school. Are you stupid or something? No. Not as stupid as a stupid does. What? Stupid is as stupid does? From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and Jenny, carrots. he made a friend? Look at this. He, he taught me how friend. to climb. Come on, 
climb. You're climbing trees with leg braces. If you help me learn how to read. Mama's gonna worry about me. Just stay a little longer. The reason Jenny didn't ever want to go home. Okay. okay Most special friend. I'd say, look at this. What a relationship he got. Oh! Oh! oh. Get the bikes, what are gonna catch up to him? No problem, no. Forest, run! Run, forest, run! run. I've heard that saying before, too. Run, forest! Shouldn't be running. These kids are so cruel. Probably messing up his back even more, trying to run that fast. Whoa! Woo! He's doing it! He didn't fall! Run, forest, run! But I can run like the wind blows. He can run like the wind blows. I believe it. I was running. <laughs> I like it. Oh jeez, look how fast he is. They can't even catch him on the bikes. My god, they did say, didn't they? He got super strong legs. Just to get the bad back. Living at home alone with her dad. Okay. Jenny? He was a very loving man. Kissing and touching her and her sisters. Oh my god. Jenny! Come on! Uh oh. Oh my god, was she from an abusive home or what? This movie gonna get dark real quick? Wasn't ready for that. He had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. made me happy because she was so close. Oh, she moved closer. Okay. And got out of that abusive home. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Ooh, ton jump. Right up to high school. Run, Forrest, run! They're repeating it again. Instead of the bikes, they got a truck. Run, Forrest, run. Go, go, go. Can he outrun a truck, though? Ooh, they're not going to run him down. Oh, good. He's fast. He's good. There you go. Get out in the field. Somebody got to do something about those local bullies. My God. Oh my god, he's running on the football field! <laughs> Look how fast he is! You can run faster than the football players. Are they gonna get him to play football? They did too. Go for us! Oh my god, look how fast he is. They can't get him. He's too good at running, he's been running his whole life. He doesn't even know how to play the game, he's just fast. I love it. Oh my god, oh my god, right through the band. He's telling the whole story at the bus stop. I love it. Bus is here. Oh no. Oh, you okay? You can continue his story here. I remember when that happened. I was in college. Did you go to a girl's college? But no. I go and visit her every chance got I separated. got. He's just sitting in the rain. Well, waiting for Jenny because she's in an all-girls school. Oh my god. Is he gonna know what's happening? You're breaking his friggin' heart over here. Oh, whoa. He's hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Kick his ass, Forrest. Kick his ass. Don't go! Oh. Billy, wait a second! Billy ain't this worth it. Oh my god, he was coming to your aid. At least in his mind. Brought you some chocolate. I'll go back to my college now. Forrest! Oh. Come on. He cared about her so much he stayed in the rain all night to bring her a box of chocolates. I want to be famous. I want to be a singer like Joan Baez. Jenny wants to be a singer. He's staring. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. <laughs> he knows the look away. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's so oh. out of his element. So awkward here. Oh. It's okay. Wow. Oh, I'm dizzy. He's dizzy. He's going to pass out. Look at him. He's overwhelmed. Well, she loves him. You can tell she cares for him a lot. They even put me on a thing called the All-America Team. Where you really? get to meet the president. Oh my god, he got to meet the president? What a life he's led here. Holy crap. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Oh my god. He's going to have to piss like a racehorse. Look, yep, yeah, sure America. enough. It's an honor, oh, sir. I can't imagine having 15 Dr. Peppers. Woo. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got it. Hey. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God, so much for that big moment meeting the president. Oh, he feels better now. Look at him, lightheaded and everything. 
That was his moment to shine. I gotta pee. <laughs> Somebody shot that nice young president when he was riding in his car. Now, can you believe Look it? This. After only five years of playing football, I got a college degree. He got a college degree? He so earned proud. it. I'd say mama's proud. Look at her. Have you given any thought to your future? Thought? Excellent career. Hello, Excellent I'm Forrest, U.S. Army. How many years the husky said who you are, Pussball? Whoa, whoa, yeah, different attitude. Oh, back to this old bus thing. Sit down if you want to. Nice. I didn't know who I might meet. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? A what? Oh, shrimp boat. I started out on my uncle's boat. That's my mama's brother. People call me Bubba. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. And her mama before her cooked shrimp. And her mama before her mama cooked shrimp, too. Matter of fact, I'm going into the shrimping business for myself after I get out the army. Go! What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? You're a goddamn genius. That's the most <laughs> outstanding answer I've ever heard. Woo! Woo! That was a good answer. Well, he'll fit in perfect. A good strict routine like that, he'll fit in no problem. Yeah, He's still that. talking about shrimp. Whoa. Done, drill sergeant! Oh, whoa. Go! Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, Gump? You tell me to, real sergeant. Jesus H. Christ! <laughs> this is a new company. You are going to be a general someday, Gump. Now, just assemble your weapon and continue. Oh, we broke the record. <laughs> this guy is just lost in his world of shrimp. Hey, Gump is there to listen. He's not complaining. Shrimp soup, shrimp stew. That's about it. That's about it. Finally done. Yep. I would miss Jenny. Of course you miss Jenny. How would you not? Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater. Ooh, that's Jenny. And offered Jenny a job singing in a show. She wanted to be a singer, to be a big star. Maybe she got what she wanted. How many rows must a man walk? She got a beautiful voice. What's she doing? Singing naked? Before. Her dream had come true. I don't know if this is what she had in mind, though. Those guys are not there for musical entertainment, are they? <laughs> Get her harmonica. Uh oh. Uh oh, Forrest, gonna get involved? There you go. Forrest, you can't keep doing this, Forrest. You can't keep what? trying to rescue me all the time. Why not? I love you. There oh. Forrest. There you go. You don't know what love is. I think he does. My dear, you know it. Right in front of you, right there. That's pure love. You remember that time we prayed, Forrest? Did it turn into a bird? We prayed for God to turn me into a bird so mm. I could fly far, far away. You think I could fly off this bridge? Oh, my God. Going down a dark path, everybody. Look at it. She got suicidal thoughts. I gotta get out of here. You just stay away from me, please. They sent me to Vietnam. Oh, my God. He's got just if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. She was always the one to say, run, Forrest, run, right? Jenny. He was coming to say goodbye. He's going to war. I write you all the time. Wow, how they took different paths in life. She was always there for him, but now she just, she feels bad about what she's become, I guess. Oh, got your mom, though. Hmm. What a life he's lived, though. He got in there, and then he went on the football team, he met the president, he met Elvis, and now he's like moved up in the military. Oh my you must God. be my FNGs. Who's this guy down? Morning, sir! Oh, okay. I'm Lieutenant Ooh. Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Lieutenant Dan Taylor. This is a pretty laid-back officer. Here. Cushion sole, O.D. green. Okay. Try and keep your feet dry. Me calling the leader grunts feet right off his legs. It's important to have good foot hygiene when you're in the military, that's true. That's swap foot. Somebody in his family had fought and died okay. in every war. What? He's a long line of soldiers then. Yeah, oh. I'd say. Woo! Gee, he didn't even flinch. They got Gump checking out the hole. What's going on? They're not always using Gump to do dirty work, are they? And it didn't quit for four months. No. What? Four months of rain? That's got to be a four. Hey, I like rain, but hey, four buddy. months of it. I'm gonna lean up this way. We don't have to sleep with our heads in the mud. Nice. You know why we a good partnership for? Cause we be watching out for one another. That's right. Like brothers and stuff. How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? Ooh, there we I go. I got it all figured out too. 
I'll be the captain. We can just work it together. Split everything right down the middle. No, nice. I'm telling you, 50 50. 50. That's a fine idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good career option for when he gets out of here. Gotta I sent her letters. Not every day, but almost. Oh, was she going away with a bunch of hippies? Come on, you gotta write him back. Ma, oh, you're breaking my heart over here. Here he is in the trenches, four months of rain, sending off love letters, and she's not replying. She's running around with a bunch of hippies. <laughs> Somebody turned off the rain and the sun oh, coming out. Oh my god. You gotta stop. Ooh! Merciful shitball. That startled me. I didn't. Woo! Ooh, they got motors and everything dropping bombs on them. They are pinned down hard. Oh, run, boys, run! Oh, look at them! Snap out of it, Forrest! Run! Oh my god, look how fast he is. He can outrun everybody. I ran and ran, just like Jenny just told me to. You can't just keep running. Pretty soon, I was all by myself. That's what I'm saying. Bad, uh, I had to make sure that he was okay. Go back and get Bubba. He's just too fast for his own good. And on my way back to find Bubba. Thanks. Okay. I couldn't just let him lay there all alone. Okay. And stuff, run him out of there. Save Tex. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Even though Bubba's your boy, but you know. Somebody else was saying. Help me, Forrest, help me. Oh my god. The machine, he got that much cardio, look at him. He's just supposed to find Bubba. My position is danger oh. close. We got you now, over. Lieutenant Dad, call us dad. Hey, leave me here, get away, just leave me here, get leave out. Leave me here, what are you talking about? Nope, no, no, he ain't doing it. He was saving him, regardless, he was taking him. Something bit me. Ooh, something bit me. It's a bullet, Forrest. Yeah! I can't leave the platoon. He's not listening to you. He's saving you. Where the hell do you think you're going? I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're going to nape the whole area. No. I got to find Bubba. <laughs> you don't care about no order. He's got to find Bubba, and that's it. He's going to find Bubba dead, isn't he? Okay, Boris. There's more movement in the background. Oh, the bombs are coming in. Run, Boris, run. Woo! Look at that. He got him. Whether he survives or not, I don't know, but he got him. He went back for him. How bad is the wound, though? It looked pretty nasty. My God, Forrest saved all these people. Gonna be the last time me and Bubba was gonna talk. No. I'd have thought of something better to say. What just happened? Got shot. Oh. I wanna go home. That's all anybody ever wants. Gonna be a shrimp and boat captain, but instead so he died right there by that rhythm of that now. So much for that future. Jenny's not getting back to him. He lost Bubba. It was a bullet, wasn't it? It jumped up and bit you. Yes, sir. Yes. Bit me directly in the buttocks. And, and he still managed to run that whole time. Look at him with his butt all wrapped up. A good up. friend of mine was in the bed right next door. I got you some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, was he depressed now or what? Is he angry because he wanted to die there like all of his ancestors? Oh my god, no. Okay, that's why. I thought it was because he would want to, he wanted to die in the field like his whole bloodline did, but I thought he only had like a blown out kneecap or something. It didn't look that bad when he was in the field. You know how to play this? Come on, let me show you. Why do I think he's going to master it? Ever take your eye off the ball. Never take your eye off the ball. Well, he'll take it literally. See, just like his rifle that he disassembled. I knew he'd be good at it. Look at him go! What's he doing? Playing against himself? I should have died out there with my men, but now I'm nothing but a goddamn cripple. Ooh! What it's like not to be able to use your legs? 
Yeah, he does. Y yes, sir, I do. Explain it to him quick. You cheated me! And you cheated me out of it! Yeah, I was right. He wanted to die in the field like his ancestors, right? Because they said all of his bloodline died in the battlefield. What am I going to do now? You're alive, man. What am I going to do now? You choose a different path. Got a lot of life left to live. My god damn. Been awarded the Medal of Honor. Ooh. Guess what, Lieutenant Dan? Medal of Honor, I'd say. He freaking went back and saved all those people. Oh, that's not Dan. What'd they do with Lieutenant Dan? They sent him home. But he got a Medal of Honor, but he deserves it. Look how many lives he saved. Where were you hit? In the buttocks, son. I'd like to see that. He wants to see his buttocks? No! <laughs> Peace now. What is he getting pushed into here? I'm nervous for him. Whoa, what a crowd. There's only one thing I can say about the war in Vietnam. Oh my god, we don't get to hear his speech? That's all I have to say about that. Well, at least he won't get in trouble with the military for doing whatever. Wow, he gave like the best speech ever. Ooh, is it Jenny? Jenny! There's Jenny, because she joined all the hippies. Yes! Woo! Oh, loves to see it. Oh, my God. Look at that. All the crowd watching it. What a beautiful moment. She had a lifestyle change, I guess. Right? He's cool. He's one of us. Let me tell you, I destroy our black community. Who's the baby killer? Forrest Gump. Forrest, this is Weston. Oh my god. Forrest is gonna snap. Get over there, Forrest. Kick his ass. He should not be hitting you, Jenny. Come on, Forrest. Yes, well, leave this place if you're not going to be wanted there and you're going to be abused and get smacked. I would never hurt you, Jenny. I know you wouldn't, Forrest. Come on. Forrest is right there in front of you and he I loves you. Your boyfriend. That uniform is a trip, Forrest. You look handsome in it. Of course he does. You do. We walked around all night, nice. Jenny and me. I didn't want it to end. Wish you wouldn't go, Jenny. Oh, you're not going back with this guy. It's got a little out of hand. He got anger issues. Don't go back with him. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama! You tell him, Forrest. You tell him. We have very different lives, you know. You don't have to have different lives. You don't have to. I want you to have this. Oh, you can't give that away. I got it. Doing what you told me to do. Ooh. Why are you so good to me? Wow. You're my girl. You're my girl. Mm. I'll always be your girl. I don't know what to think of it. She's kind of stringing them along, but she's got the friendship, but she don't want to go past the friendship with them. But he's there, and he's so in love, and she'd rather go back in the friggin' bus with the abusive guy. Why are you getting on the bus and leaving? Get off the bus. I gone again. I was so good that some years later, the army decided that I should be on the All-America Ping Pong Team. Hey, really? <laughs> when I got home, I was a national celebrity. Did all this actually happen? I'm wondering now, because this is such an incredible life. I'm starting to wonder, is this just, is he making it all up? Where's Gump? John Lennon. John Lennon. Welcome Nothing home. at all. No possessions? They never go to church. No religion, too? Oh, it's easy if you try, Dick. Oh. Coming up with some lyrics there. They gave you the oh. Congressional Medal of Lieutenant Dan! In front of the whole they damn country! They saved the whole platoon of people! The Congressional Medal of Honor. That, that's just perfect! Oh. Hey, hey! Oh. 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 oh, he's gonna crack the back of his head open, isn't he? I stayed with Lieutenant Dan and celebrated the holidays. So he's not celebrating it alone? Lieutenant Dan's in a dark place here. I'll get to walk beside him in the kingdom of heaven. Walk? Beside him? Oh, walk. Right, he's got somebody got to help him here. Come on, I'm going to heaven, Lieutenant Dan. Maybe he'll come around. I don't know. Dan is in a dark place. I'm afraid to see where that path is going to take him. But now that he's dead, that means I got to be the captain. Our shrimp boat captain. In the day that you are a shrimp boat captain, 
I will come and be your first mate. <laughs> oh, you're gonna eat those words now. Ma, there's nothing that Forrest can't accomplish. What's she up to now? What's she doing? She got fancier clothes on. She's not dressed like a hippie. You gathering her things or steal them from the guy? Oh. My God, she just keeps going in abusive relationship after abusive relationship, doesn't she? He's in a state. Man, come on. Dan is getting freaky now. Not Forrest, though. He's thinking about Jenny. Oh. Okay. What are you stupid as something? What is he? Don't call him stupid. Ooh, he's picking up for him. Ooh, look at him. He respects him. Behind all that anger. The frustration and depression. <laughs> but he picked up for him. That was a good moment right there. So much for the night of fun. I'm sorry I ruined your New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Diane. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't, though. Right? If he's going to hook up with anybody, it's got to be Jenny. Not some random lady on New Year's. He didn't want to be called crippled, just like I didn't want to be called stupid. Happy New Year, Gump. Something nice finally came out of his mouth. He's coming around. But I met the President of the United States again. With the big eye roll. Well, where are you staying? It's called the Hotel Ebot. Oh, no, 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 no. I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new. The lights are off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because in flashlights, they're keeping me awake. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. I assume that was a key moment in U.S. history that I'm not aware of. Did they find documents or papers on the president made him resign? I don't know. My American history is not good enough to know that part. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. He was playing ping pong for the army, and now he's out of the army. Well, you can always get into shrimping. Like you said, your mom got to be some proud of him. Meeting all the presidents and everything else. I'm her mama. Now, when I got home, I had no idea, but Mama had all sorts of visitors. One man even left a check for $25,000. Like using their paddle? $25,000 for us. I thought maybe you could hold it for a while. See if it grows on you. That oh, you Mama, she sure me. was right. You look it's funny good. how things work out. Well, mama wants the money. Well, you know what? What's the big deal, I guess? But even though that was a... I don't know about the look of that paddle, though. Paid my respect to Bubba himself. Yes, there you go. I remember everything you said, and I got it all figured out. Oh, he learned a lot about shrimp, didn't he? Brand new shrimping boat. Ooh, he invested it all in a shrimping boat. Look, he's got a big shrimping boat. He's living at the promise, like he said he was going to do. He's a captain of the boat. Oh. Now, now Bubba shrimp. told me everything he knew about shrimping. Shrimping is tough. I only caught five. That's not a good day's haul. No. It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. But there was only one I could think of. Oh, what's he gonna name it? The most beautiful name in the wide world. Jenny. He named his boat Jenny. Why not? My God, he's so in love with Jenny. He's got to end up with Jenny at the end of this. He, but she, I don't know, no. I don't know if she deserves him. After she's just ignoring him for what now, 20, 30 years? For Forrest's sake. I wants it to happen, right? Why is she choosing this life over a life with Forrest? I don't get it. She's still chasing the dream of being a star, hey? Oh, no, no, no. She's not going to try and fly like a bird, is she? No, my God. No, 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 no. Get back. Whew. Oh, my God. I would have been heartbroken if she would have went over the edge like that. No, look, you hit rock bottom. Now go back with Forrest. Ooh, look who it is. I've seen a meme with that picture before. Just right here. Yeah, with the wave part. Whoa, what are you doing? Did you shut off your boat? Where's your boat gonna? He just left. Oh my god. Where's this boat gone? It's gonna go crash into another boat or out in the... What are you doing here? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. Well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. Well, well, Captain Forrest Gump. I had to see this for myself. He's a captain, all right. And I'd be your first mate. There well, you go. Don't you be thinking that I'm going to be calling you sir. No, sir. No. Is that his... Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. He just leveled the dock. Merciful crap. But it went the other way. I guess it spun around somehow. I don't know. Over there. They're Look over up. there. That's where we're going to find those shrimp, my boy. Nope. 
Shrimp it ain't easy. Still no shrimp, Lieutenant Dang. You just pray for shrimp. Woo! So I Look went to him. church every Sunday. You gotta figure out the tricks of the trade here. No shrimp. Where the hell's this god of yours? God showed up. Really? Woo! Big ass storm. They got caught in a storm? Uh oh. Man, Forrest is living a wild life. He was mad. He's embracing the chaos. Look at him. Oh my god, he's got a death wish. Entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen and has been left in utter ruin. The whole shrimping industry. With local, only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. It's Forrest's boat. After that, shrimping was easy. Because all the competition's gone. Oh my god. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Well, yes, I would. I just realized this whole movie is just him on the park bench, but he's reliving the story. It keeps clicking back with me every time you show it. I never thanked you for saving my life. No, you didn't. If anything, you got mad at him. <laughs> what are you doing? He never actually said so. He made his peace with God. Oh. His mama said. Oh, no. Oh my god, he's gonna dive off and swim instead of turning the boat in. Oh, his mama's sick. Mm. Where's mama? Did he make it She's in time? Upstairs. Hi, Forrest. Hmm, it's the same doctor, is it? We sure got you straightened out, didn't we, boy? I'm dying, Forrest. Hmm. She looks so good, though. So chipper and. Why are you dying, mama? It's just my time. Death is just a part of life. Oh, she's giving him another life lesson. Something we're all destined to do. What a good mom she's been. I did the best I could. She did an you amazing did job. You have to do the best with what God gave you. Life is a box of chocolates for us. Oh. You never know what you're going to get. There's the saying. Mom, she had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. Didn't you say you were waiting for number seven bucks? There'll be another one along shortly. Oh, she's enjoying this story so much. So, uh, oh, I never God. went back to work for Lieutenant Dan. Why not? Wait. So he did take care of my Bubba Gump money. And so then I got a call from him saying we don't have Apple. to worry about money no more. He invested in Apple when they first started up? Holy crap, the amount of money. How many careers and lives is this guy living? I gave a whole bunch of it to the Four Square Gospel Church. He building the church and everything. Look at him, he's doing good things with the money. I gave Bubba's mama Bubba's share. Ooh. He split it down the middle, like they said. Oh, and now she was serving. Now she got a white server. You notice that? I like it. I'd always think of Jenny. Mm -hmm. Is she actually there? No. How many years has passed by now? It's my lifetime. The whole time. He's just in love with Jenny, and Jenny's out. But I think Jenny hit rock bottom now. I think she's going to come home. What do you think? Well, you guys already seen the movie, so I'm sure you know. But that's what I'm thinking. Look at him. He has all the money in the world. He's just a simple guy. He just wants to ride his mower around. Ooh, is she coming back? She was there. They meet again. Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. Oh, my God. Finally. Finally, she smartened up. I got goosebumps now. Maybe it was because she had nowhere else to go. Every day we'd take a walk, and I'd jab her on like a monkey in a tree. I did all the talking. Jenny most of the times was, was real quiet. Oh, her old home. Uh, only bad memories from this place, though. But I guess she wanted to confront them, right? Oh, she still got a lot of built-up rage for this place. Right, I forgot she had such a rough childhood, too. That messed her up, too, right? I didn't even click with me till now. She's broken. Horrible childhood memories coming back to her. Sometimes I guess there just aren't enough rocks. Oh, that's what he thought of it. Okay. Oh, look at him on the tree branch again. Nike shoes just for running. Come on, if she just, as long as she's happy to have stability and somebody who loves you in your life, that's what beautiful. It was the everybody. happiest time of my life. It's beautiful. What a way to end it. I don't even know if it's almost over. I'm not even going to check, but I'm assuming that's a happy ending.
what a life, man. I can't get over the fact of all the things Forrest did in his life. Makes me feel like I got a new ending in mind now. <laughs> but I wouldn't really say Forrest has had a normal life. Will you marry me? I'd make a good husband, Jenny. Hmm. But you won't marry me. You don't want to marry me. Oh no, she don't think she's worthy or deserves it or something. Why don't you love me, Jenny? But I know what love is. And he loves you more than anything in this world. She still. What is it? What is it? Oh, did she change her mind? Jenny. I do love you. Hmm. Oh my God. Is that Forrest's first time? I think it is. It's the first time they've shown it, right? Who's she running off to now? Oh no. Oh no. He proposes to her. She makes out with him. And then she takes off running. No, I don't like it. I was starting to think, oh my god. She changed her mind. She went back. I don't know if that made it worse. To sleep with him. After he proposes and then just leave. If they don't explain it, you guys can comment down below and let me know. I'm trying to pick up. I know, okay, so she had a broken past in childhood. She was raised like that. She had a whole lifestyle of drugs and not feeling she's worthy and wanting to be a star and be famous. Didn't work out for her. She feels like she might have wasted her life. Or maybe she feels like she don't deserve the way that Forrest is treating her, all the love that he has for her or something. I don't know. Where's he going? Is he going after her or what? I decided to go for a little run. Okay. So I ran to the end of the road. I thought, maybe I'd just run across Greenbow County. Oh my god, he ran across the whole county? Maybe I'd just run across the great state of Alabama. I ran clear to the ocean. Yacht, fishing boats, cafe. Oh, look at him! What, did he cut off his pants? Woo! Oh my god, how long has he been running? Look at him growing the beard. He's running from ocean to ocean. When I got tired, I slept. Right around the U.S. or what? He couldn't, this is how he's coping with the loss of Jenny again for like the fifth time. Well, that's a good stress reliever. And he's getting to see the world. How much cardio does this guy got? Are you running? Look at him. Are you doing this for beard. world peace? I just felt like running. I just felt like running. Felt like running for days or years on end? I got more company. Ooh. He's starting a movement or what? But for no purpose other than to run. I'm in the bumper sticker business and he's ran through a big pile of dog shit. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Shit happens. A lot of money off of it. Oh my. Ah! Oh. He... How many things in history did he affect? So much. I had run for three years. Oh my god. Two months. 14 days and 16 hours. Three years of straight running. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. It took three years of running for him to get tired. Like, what part of the country is he even in? And he's just like, I'm gonna go home now. He's cleared his mind enough. Three years on the road running. That is amazing. My running days was over. <sighs> what is this guy doing with his life? Oh my God. And how many assassinations has he lived through? I got a letter from Jenny. Oh, a letter Wondering from Jenny. if I could come down to see her. And that's what I'm doing here. Oh, that's why he's there. Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. This whole time, he gave his entire life story and he's only like a couple blocks away. Oh, don't get... Oh, I thought he was going to get hit by a car. After all of that, no. Forrest! Oh, she's How happy to see him again. Oh. I ate some. I ate some. But why'd she want to meet with him now? What's going on, Jenny? Come on, let it all out. Finally, let it out, please. I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you because I was messed up. What the freak? This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. No. No, 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 no. Why does she have a kid now? I'm a mama. Is that Forrest's kid? His name's Forrest. I named him after his daddy. Oh, my. He got a daddy named Forrest, too? Oh, we didn't click with him. daddy, Forrest. Why didn't she let him in? That's why she ran away. But she ran away the next morning, right? But she can't, what, she, he missed out on all those years of the child's birth and everything else. There's nothing you need to do, okay? You didn't do anything wrong. Isn't he beautiful? 
He's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, he's in total shock. Is, is he smart? He's very smart. Is he smart? Oh, that's what he was worried about. Daddy would inherit his IQ or something. He deserves to be the father now. Like, in his life. This is all that's required for a happy life. I'm sick. What? I have some kind of virus. They don't know what it is, and there isn't anything they can do about it. You could come home with me, little forest. You could come <laughs> stay at my house in Greenbow. I'll take care of you if you're sick. Would you marry me, Forrest? Okay. But she's sick. Like, sick enough that she's going to die from it by the sounds of it? And she's just trying to marry him before she goes, or what? <gasps> Look who it is. And he's walking. He must have some... Lieutenant Day. He's all cleaned up. Hello, Forrest. You got new legs. You got new legs. New legs. With all that shrimp Custom money. Made. Nice. Titanium alloy. Magic legs. Magic legs. Here's my fiance. Nice. Susan. This is my Jenny. <laughs> my Jenny. It's nice to meet you finally. <laughs> what if finally meeting? Played important roles in Forrest's life. Look at him. He's trying to hold back the tears. And look at a beautiful, simple wedding outside here. Loves to see it. And they didn't give Dan a chair. But what's going to happen now with this? She's sick. She better not be terminally sick or something. Is that the same bed that his mom died? He's taking care of her, though. He's a good guy. Were you scared in Vietnam? Yeah, it was nice. Finding the happiness in all the small moments, right? Just before the sun goes to bed down on the bayou, a million sparkles on the water. Two skies, one on top of the other. He's taken in the whole environment. He's seen the whole world. He definitely is the type of the stop and smell the roses, eh? I wish I could have been there with you. You were. Oh, my God. I love you. You died on a Saturday morning. Oh, no. Here under our tree. House of your father, bulldozed to the ground. Oh, that's a good touch. Dying was a part of life. True. He'll be a good dad. About to start school again soon. Teaching him how to play ping pong. Oh. Okay. And every night we read a book. He's so smart, Jenny. You'd be so proud of him. He here wrote you a, a letter. It's supposed to, so I'll just leave it here for you. If we each have a destiny, we're all just floating around accidental like on a breeze. Maybe it's both. Maybe both is happening at the same time. Yeah, you're floating around, but it's you're meant to go a certain way, but at the same time, you're, it's not a straight path. He's lost everybody now. Everybody is If there's life. anything you need. Except for Dan. Here's your bus. It's just the first day of school. Okay. Ah, oh, the curious George. I know this. My favorite book. Oh, the feather came out. Seeing him off to school. I remember seeing my kids off to school for the first day. I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Oh. He remembers the full circle when he was doing that, and his mom had to get him on the bus, and now he leads a simple life of just being a dad, but that's it's a good way to wrap it up. He deserves the peace and the quiet. We started with the feather blowing in, didn't we? So it was all real. There was a part in the sh in the movie where I was like, okay, is this, she's just making all this up on the park bench or what? But it's all real. He just lived a fascinating life. One that everyone could just dream of living, right? My God, what a beautiful story. That's one of the best, most beautiful stories I've ever seen. I can see why it's so popular. Could you turn me into a bird so I could fly away? That just clicked with me at the end there. Okay, everybody, that was one of the best stories I have ever seen on film. That was mind-blowing. I loved everything about it the whole time, it captivating me. And, like, I knew it was a long movie going into it, but, like, I didn't feel long because it was so freaking good. Oh, my God, I loved it. Comment down below let me know your favorite parts of the film. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know some more films you want me to check out, like this one or any ones. All right, peace and love, everybody. See you later. Take care.